Good morning, boys and girls. Welcome to Tuesday, March 31st, 2020, and we'll begin our lessons today with school prayer. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, amen. Gracious God, thank you for blessing the school with your grace and everlasting love. Guide us to become a community working together to live out our Catholic values. You have showered us with blessings so we may be dedicated Catholic Christians, caring community members, diligent lifelong learners, globally aware and responsible citizens. O oh Lord, continue to guide us to believe, become, and belong in our St. Lawrence Martyr family. Amen. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Yesterday, boys and girls, we began our Easter love letters from God, our Bible stories, and we are going to go to the second chapter in this book, and it's called What Love Looks Like, Washing Feet. Okay, so I'm going to start right here. The disciples were excited. Jesus had invited them to a secret supper, but they'd been walking through the dusty streets of Jerusalem all day. So you can see what that looks like. Okay. By the, end, by the time they reached the special room, their feet would be filthy. Thank goodness a servant would be there to wash their feet for them. They didn't want to have dirty feet at dinner time. They were going to eat with a king. But a surprise was waiting for the disciples. When they arrived at the room, there was no servant there. Jesus was kneeling on the floor. A bowl of soapy water was next to him, and he had a towel tied around his waist. Can you see that right there? And then there's the bowl of soapy water. Right there in that room, Jesus showed his disciples what love looked like. He took their feet in his hands and washed them, just like a servant would. The hands that created the world washed their feet. The special one from heaven made the disciples feel like they were the special ones. That is what love looks like, Jesus said. Love tells people how special they are. Love makes someone feel wonderful. When I am gone, go into the world and take love with you. The disciples didn't understand that Jesus was going to leave them, but they understood what love looked like because the king of love had showed them. So here's God's wonderful words to you. If you love one another, everyone will know that you are my disciples. And so your love letter from God today says, Dear children, did you know that the disciples did what Jesus asked them? They never forgot how Jesus washed their feet that night. They never forgot how much Jesus loved them. So they took that love into the world, and you can do the same. Never forget how much Jesus loves you. Show that love to others. If you do that, everyone will know that you are one of his disciples. Love God. Yeah, so know that Jesus always loves you, boys and girls.